909-910. It's Jesus Day in Milwaukee. We got Lazardo and the Marlins. I believe it's Woodruff and the Brewers. I always get backwards with those Brewers pitchers. Minus 141 to Milwaukee, plus 126 to Jesus. Total of seven and a half, juice to the under at minus 125. No Ed Blust. I did not tell her I was 55. Uh, I didn't really need to do that. I was I was already older than her anyways, so it was fine. You know what I mean? Uh it's pretty pretty uh, damn funny, but uh, Corby, let's start with you here. Woodruff, Jesus, Jesus has that employability factor here, but of course it's the Brewers' offense. But my numbers, obviously, Woodruff is the large pitching advantage here. What are your thoughts here, Brewers, Marlins? Yeah, I've talked about it on the show a million times. I don't really like Woodruff. I think that he plays at a ceiling at all times, and um, at some point he's going to have to get showed, and he continues to say opposite he has a 261 expected batting average versus this marlins lineup and a 179 batting average so uh he continues to make something work and and by all means i'm probably wrong here i, I haven't faded him or backed him just because it's like one of those things that i don't have high conviction on but just watching him i yeah i mean he, th- he darts fastballs down the middle of the plate and gets them past people so i i I'm not buying into his stuff as much as as i probably should even Statcast says he's a good pitcher and i just I, i've never believed it that said lazardo's Pretty solid. I, I, I think it's a really low scoring game. What's the total here? Um, I, I can't. Yeah, seven, oh, six s- and a half. And a half. Wow. Yeah, it's fallen. There's there's six and a half at Bars, which is just like uh, both of these offenses aren't great. The, the Marlins have cleaned up some, but uh, the Brewers are the team that uh, I have been the most wrong on. I have Brewers not to make the playoffs. So um, my Brewers read is probably wrong. I don't assume there's many runs here, uh, but I would lean towards the Brewers. Yeah. Uh- Mark Holmes wins the day, says, if we take base winners, wisdom, and money, Kyle's game, and Corby's hair, let's make a perfect man. I love that. I love that. And we're going to take my so speed. Nice. That, what a, that, that's that's got to be the nicest thing that's ever been said in the in the chat box. Thank you, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we appreciate that. Now, this game, base winner, Lazardo has been good his last three starts, right? He's been good, Lazardo. He's been good, Jesus. Like, Jesus has been on point. It's been answering the emails, probably answering prayers, unless you're in those hurricane alleys. You're getting hammered by hurricanes. So I don't know if you guys just aren't praying enough out there in those little hurricane regions or what, or if Jesus is busy pitching while the hurricane forms. I know a lot of stuff happening there. Uh, Woodruff, by my numbers, a 553 weighted OPS. It's the lowest on the card. Um, He's been really, really, really good. My numbers would say it's Brewers here, but I just get nervous about the offense. And if Lazardo's on, those Brewers are going to struggle. What do you think here, B-Dub, in this one? Yeah, I've got this uh, on the first five, some some value here. Uh, I'm showing the Brewers. I'm going to make it the uh, the second leg of my parlay uh, with uh, – oh, who was the first team? Kyle? Tampa Bay. That, Tampa you know, Bay. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's 220. But, you know, it, it, it concerns me that I'm – I guess I'm kind of kind – of flustered because it concerns me that I'm betting against Jesus. I mean, God, I, I mean, that, I mean, Oof. wow. But, but, but there's, there's some South good, Park Jesus. You're fine. Trust me. I mean, yeah, but like, there's some good reasons on it. You look at Woodruff's last 150 uh, strikeout percentage. Uh, I mean, it's really good. 97th percentile, 32.2% raw number. And Luzardo has been good at 26.7 strikeout percentage, which is in the 81st percentile. I don't think that this is a play against Luzardo. I think it's a play on Woodruff, and he's been really, really good, particularly at home. Uh, first of all, uh, Stuff Plus is good, too. 92nd percentile. This is uh, the Stuff Plus uh, since August 1st of this year. So a recent number. I think it might be a little concerning, and I wanted to check that because I think it might be a little concerning because Woodruff has kind of a lack of a body of work, if you will, because he was injured for a while. But if you look at his body of work, especially at home, uh, he's got seven starts over the last 365 days at home. Dude, his strike, he's, he's median strikeout is 10. Double-digit median strikeout. Jeez. Block only one. And his base runner ERI is 1.42. I, I can't pass that up. That's just too good to pass up. Yeah. Offensive, yeah, I mean, offensively, you've got, I don't know, probably these teams are even offensively. I've got the, the uh, actually the Marlins a little bit better, but the way it all shakes out, Got a little bit of value here uh, with with the pitcher who, particularly at home, has just been tremendous. And I'm going to put it in a parlay, the second leg of the parlay. And when it wins, it's going to play. It's going to pay uh, plus twenty, plus two twenty four, guys. 
Yeah, the Marlins playing themselves back into playoff contention, winning eight of their last ten. Uh, half game back now, the final wild card spot with the Diamondbacks, who we thought had played their way out as the Giants fall back. So, look, this is an important game here. Both teams, obviously, Milwaukee trying to hang on and win that division. Miami, only a half game out. Important game. But, I mean, by my numbers, it's Woodruff. By base winners, numbers, it's Woodruff. I think we'd all agree Woodruff's the advantage here. Sometimes that scares me when it's so obvious. You're like, okay, so someone's going to open my op- apple pie, take a dump right in the middle, and put the crust right back over and wait for me to eat it. You know what I mean? That's just what's waiting to happen. But for purposes of the show, the base winner parlay, Rays first five, Brewers first five. Look at this number, plus 224 with two pitching advantages there, backing two excellent pitchers. I think there's definitely ways to have worse value than that. So that's the base winner parlay today at plus 224.